With a little luck, we can do this. We're going for damage. The first thing I'm going to do is plant the few crops I have. Those are what's going to get us the money for upgrade. Now that the four potatoes are planted, let's go find more. While also killing every living creature we come across because we want their stuff. In particular, I'm looking for the animals they have held hostage because they're going to help me. Perfect, found a cow and a bee. I'm going to take the cow once I kill the things guarding it because it's going to water for me. And the less work that I have to manually do, the better. Also just found a golden something or other that seems to have gotten me something special, so I can't wait to see what I get after killing Stumpy. Looks like this. Regenerate each morning. Oh, that's kind of nice. That's going to give me extra health. And we got some scrolls. Boost and water all crop. Expand farming tillable soil. This is a good start. My potatoes are all already basically ready to go. If I fertilize them, they turn into one giant potato. And then I get a big potato. That's extra money in the morning. And I need to remember to use Earthquake to expand my tillable soil. Now I can plant a whole bunch of things. As long as I keep it safe till morning, top it. I'm also going to be looking for turrets. You can find them instead of animals sometimes, and obviously they protect my crops, so I don't have to do that either. Basically, I want this whole thing to kind of do itself, so I can just wander around and kill things as I please. Got through the night would be nice if that rose could finish itself. Okay, perfect. Now we get to go to town to buy upgrades. Money made on the first day was only 92 whatevers. Can't really afford much just yet, so I think I'm going to save my money for when I really do need it. Today, I'm going to go to the left to hopefully find another animal over here. The chances are higher this way. So far, no animal, but I did find a golden pupa, which should take me to another thing. We're going to take the sprinkler head because I think that was also a turret. I didn't get a chance to read it because I had to dodge. We're going to take so seeds in every plot because that's just free seeds and a lot of extra money. And this is given us plus 25% beat drop. Chance to drop a heartbeat seed when damaged. That's actually really good. Getting a little concerned I didn't find a new animal friend yet. We're about three quarters of the way through the day so I've got to find one like right now or abandon. All right we're about out of time. Gonna use this to get back. Gonna clear out all these weeds. This is super annoying and then use my scroll to get all the seeds planted. My poor cow has been wandering around all day not able to do anything. All right this is as many spaces as I could get. Does it also till? Nope I should have tilled before doing that. I just lost out on like seven seeds. So this night is mostly just spent dodging bullets and trying to plant as much as I can before morning because I need to make some money. That was a pretty inefficient night. I don't like that one at all. I wasted a lot of time, but I'm sure I still made some money anyway. Today I'm going to do something maybe a little bit risky and take the shallot gun, which looks like that. Very dangerous up close. And we're going to upgrade that once because I need to explore as much area as possible. And obviously the best way to explore is using guns. I did find a turret here, so that's going to save me a lot of trouble at night. A turret or a pig. Pigs are pretty good too, but a turret just saves me a lot of time that I could be used planting and watering. And I got a scroll for either sow seeds in every plot or rain cloud. I think we're going to go for this because we'll get free seeds. Then I have sowing seeds, increase day length. I definitely want that. The more day I have, the more money I can make. The first thing I'm going to do is plant a turret right about here to help protect me from things. This is also going to be a boss fight night. But if you can't catch me, oh, never mind. This is also going to help because I have an upgraded shotgun. I'm taking huge bites out of the boss already. If I don't have to deal with him all night, I can plant a lot of stuff. At least when he wants to come back and actually fight. There he is. All right, we're taking big bites out of his health. The turret doesn't have a ton of range on it, but that's okay. I'm mostly worried about the things to get close enough to my crop to hurt it. I'm just hoping that by the end of the night, I can have all of these hoed. That way I can use my scroll to get free seeds for every one of these spots. That seems to have worked. There we go. Look at all those free seeds. Now the cow can water. Maybe that is the way to go. Just buy a gun every day so you can explore more and get more seeds and upgrades. Also going to fertilize everything I can here. Even managed to get a lot of this done by morning, so that's fine by me. We're still make some money. 113, that's good enough for me. Even though we just killed the boss, we get the mayor's evaluation. I want to get 10 out of 10 from selling enough crops, but I don't think we did it. We got... 9, 9 out of 10. But that's still a lot of extra bonus, like weed killer, bridge repair kit, a free scroll for earthquake, fighting stat up, increase fighting stat by 2. Then I think I want to buy the turret because I also increase the relationship with this person. That takes all three of my roses, but I get a turret. And today we're going to go with the jackrabbit, which is a rapid fire shotgun, which I can live with. So the cow can water, the turrets can keep it safe. I'm going to go down here and hopefully find more animals. Right away I did at least find another turret, so that'll be good for my damage. What do you suppose this beautiful creature is? Speed up. Oh, that might be bad for me. But as long as I have this shotgun firing in front of me, I should be able to charge through most things. Found a second animal down here in the jungle, so that's pretty fortunate of me. I can get a pig, which is going to automatically mine dirt for me. And a golden whatever, so it can lead me to treasure. I don't have enough time left in the day. I'll get that tomorrow. So everything looks like it's pretty well ready to go. We'll give it a little bit of fertilizer. Nothing can really change there anyway, so we're just going to start planting. Turrets going down over here. I feel so much better having these turrets here. I just have to do much less work. 
work. See, while the turrets are mostly killing everything, I can clear some weeds and get ready for the next round of crops. Another easy night done thanks to the turret, the pig is working away. $127 just for that night. For this guy, if I give him three roses today, I get a drone that's going to follow me and attack enemies. Then, same thing, we're taking a shallot gun for extra exploration power. Plus, I need to see what the golden idiot has for me down here. Should be a little bit quicker to kill this time. Whoops, and he just hit me. Well, he was very easy to kill at least with the shotgun, and we get this. Crops spread onto hard crust. That is a really good one to find. Become energized. We want to cut weeds faster. That means more planting, more money, more upgrades, more damage. Alright, the jungle didn't have too much more to offer. I'm going to use an earthquake scroll. Give myself some new area, and then we can start planting. And I got my first tree. That'll just continually give me new crops. And this is a non-boss night, so I'm mostly to spend most of it clearing weeds. I can definitely appreciate the new weed abilities because they go very fast and they take another one with them. We're going to increase our relationship with Rue today because days last longer if I give her four roses. And we'll try this spud rifle today. That should be just fine. I'm going to go back to where I started today to do the lower half in case I can find more animals. Which is going to lead to even faster planting, which means even faster money. Then we're going to take vinaigrette because weeds are harvestable. I wonder if that means a chicken can harvest weeds for me. Uh, apparently my tractor is already ready, so we're going to find out what that's about. Apparently it can expand my area, so... Not by a lot, but I can sure do it. I also forgot it's going to be a boss fight type of night, so I would have upgraded my gun once more had I remembered that. And at least I do have this gun, which has some decent range on it, so this won't be a problem at all. Though he's pretty annoyingly lighting my crops on fire, but I think this won't be too bad. Yes, thanks to my turrets, it's much easier. I can just focus on the sun. I don't have to worry about my crops at all. The sunshine's even smart enough to fly right into my turrets, so he takes extra damage there. It's just about dead. I don't know if he's going to be able to drop me anything. I don't know if they do, but it'll be nice to just get him out of the way. Well, I got lots of fertilizer from it, so harvesting these now does give me stuff. So I want, kind of do want the weeds to grow. There we go. The money for just that day was 300. That's much better. Because we finished the boss fight, mayor time. Hopefully we get level 10 so we get maximum upgrades. Level 9 again. But that's okay. We'll still get water more crops when energized. Butcher's bayonet means all guns fire a butcher knife. Storm cloud that waters all my crops. And then I can get one more turret and a pig. I think today we're going to try the par sniper rifle. Because if I recall, that hits very hard. Alright, well I'd better get back to work planting and doing whatever it is I'm doing. I'm going to put my next turret over here. That way they're nice and spread out. But there's going to be so much damage just going towards enemies that I don't have to do much anymore. And with my nice long day and upgraded rifle, oh, we're going up here. I'm liking this gun because it seems to be one-shotting everything. And that's going to save me a lot of trouble, obviously. Already found a new animal. I think I'm probably going to take the cow just for extra watering power. And then eggs contain seeds or cutting weeds increases day length. I want that one because I can cut weeds very quick. Feels like I got lots of seeds today because I was able to kill everything. So we'll come back and harvest and replant. And I have most of my stuff planted, so I'm going to bring in my rain cloud now to help water everything and upgrade it. Definitely going to be making some money this season. 442 for that night, even 33, 66 just from weeds now. For five roses today, we can occasionally fling a squirrel. That's all I ever wanted in life. Since I have $904, I'm going to buy an extra pickaxe for clearing land, and then I'm going to take the spud rifle. And for what it's worth, I'm just going to upgrade that anyway, because I might as well spend my money on something. I think today I might actually just harvest weeds, because I'll make so much money just taking up all of these, and they'll occasionally give me seeds, so I'll just hang out right here all day. Normally weeds are super annoying, but I cut them fast, I cut lots of them, and they give me stuff. And now that I'm energized, I can cut them this fast. This is all so much profit. Not really sure they realized you were going to be able to do this when they designed this game. And I can even shoot while I'm harvesting the weeds. I can just do it all. I think it's about time I take a break from the weeds because look at all the seeds I've got. I better start planting some of these so they can actually grow by morning. I got all of the seeds planted so we're going to give us some fertilizer and then I'm going back to cutting weeds I guess. I hope at some point I can get something that ups the damage of my turrets. They could be super helpful with how many I have. I'm pretty sure the enemies still can't really get close to my crops. Maybe these fast moving bombs. But the usual ones, they're having trouble. So aside from that money, the money earned from everything else. Well, 1338 just from the weeds. 1864 total. But that's ridiculous. Also a pickaxe for some seeds and then we're going to buy us a gun. Like a rusty SMG because it's 90. And then I'm going to upgrade that not once, but twice. And you know what? I think I'm going to do the same thing today. I can make so much money right here that I'll get all the upgrades I could ever want. And if you're wondering what this gun looks like, it looks like that. It's doing a ton of damage. And I almost forgot it was a boss fight. Well, see just how tough it is considering how much damage I'm doing right now. I don't foresee a lot of difficulty. As soon as I find him again. There he is. Oh, he's quick. Yeah, I thought I'd be doing more damage, but his health is still dropping comfortably fast. 
Well, this is kind of easier than I thought it was going to be at this point, but I guess I am pretty rich, and that's always a difference maker. Not sure my turrets are even helping much at this point, but I guess that's a good problem to have if I don't need their help. Okay, well, I guess I'll go back to this farming then because I'm out of things to kill. 1134 from all the crops, including about half that from weeds. Mayor, how'd I do? Yep, uh, I think we're going to blast right through level 10 in a big hurry. And then we're still going. I'm impressed with myself. A horse? What does the horse do? Oh, that's what it does. I can move faster as long as I'm not shooting, I guess. But I do do a lot of shooting. All right, let's upgrade this thing. Twice is good enough for now, or mm, three times. We're now into winter. I do kind of want some new seeds, so we're going to wander to the east and unlock a new area. Because I figure this gun probably does the damage I need to basically just do anything I want. You do have to wander a long ways over to get to this point. I guess that guy will take me back when I want, though. This gun's kind of fun. It takes a lot of the effort out of uh, pretty much everything. Ow. I did also just get a scroll to uh, put seeds in every plot, so that's going to be a lot of seeds once I make it back. Oh, the hummingbird boosts crops. I definitely wanted more valuable crops. All right, I've seen enough. Let's go to work over here. We're going to need a little more space. We're going to need to cut some weeds. All right, our space is mostly maxed out. We're just going to take care of the weeds, and then we're ready to use our scroll to plant all of that. It's going to be a pretty valuable night. And the waves of enemies are going to get a lot harder, so I might not be able to cut as many weeds tonight, but as long as I survive, I'll be doing just fine. I feel like that night went by very quickly, and that's fine by me. Only 863 today. So I'll take a jackrabbit, upgrade it, and then be back on my way to making money. Today I'm going to go back to cutting weeds for at least a little bit. And I'm basically out of weeds again, so I'm going to harvest and go wander. Just a quick look up into the snowland to see if there's anything I can grab super easy. Turret drones fire faster. Turrets and drones fire faster. That's going to be hugely helpful. Wow, when I combine with my horse, I am really quick. I'm just going to try and uh, till every bit of soil I can. That way I can plant a bunch of stuff with my scroll. You know what? I'm just going to go for it now because I still get that many free seeds. I need to focus on survival. And I have a worm shield now. Anything that touches the worm shield gets blocked. This gun's good and all, but I'm definitely starting to realize that I need more damage. Look at all these nice crops I get to harvest. And tomorrow's going to be even more profit, but damn, what a day. Profit for the day. 1181. 222 out of weed. All right, here's the deal. We're going to go rusty SMG. Upgraded once, twice, three times, four times, five times. Explosive rounds. This is going to be fun. I just know it's the boss fight tonight, so I want to be extra prepared for that. Which means I should probably harvest uh, lots of this. And here's the boss that's going to be very hard to defeat. Well, maybe not, though, actually. He's melting pretty quick. Let me harvest some crops and I'll worry about him. You know what? Actually, let's kill him now because I don't really know what he's going to do. So far, this isn't much of a struggle. Like, his health is just slowly going down. I've got so many worms that I don't even know if he can hurt me. And anything else that has spawned, I've just absolutely melted with this SMG. Oh, we ready to fight again? Yep, ready when you are. And you're dead. Good fight. Pretty sure that fight is supposed to be, like, unreasonably hard. Right now, I'm going to try and plant as much as I can and fertilize it, hopefully by morning. Not even sure what just happened, but I'm pretty sure I harvested a bunch of stuff and I've got almost $3,000 to my name again. $1,416 overnight. Look at my worm. Might give her five roses for extra damage. And I think we're probably going to hit level 10 again. We did it. So my stats have gone even higher. I get some extra stuff. Watering crops zaps nearby enemies for half their health. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh, we get to fill our thing with crops. All right, Rue, give me your thing. I'll take your extra power. Oh, we're married now. Anything to get out of this place. Oh, she's going to follow me and help me now. If that's the case, we'll take a Gatling gun and we're going to just upgrade it the full way. Oh, that was a lot of money. I didn't realize how expensive that was. Good thing I did that because we've got a boss fight that I didn't even know about. What do we hit? What do we shoot? Hello? I'm just not really sure what it is I'm supposed to be shooting right now. Do I fight your hands? And I mean, I have my horse anyway, so when I want to get away from him, I just get on my horse and ride. I hit him once with something. I don't know what it was or how I did it. I guess it's maybe this weird stuff floating around. You know, maybe I'll just make my wife do all the work. She's got to be good for something. Ooh, crops. Yeah, I'm not actually sure how I'm supposed to be hurting him. I'm doing it somehow, but if I could hit him directly, I would melt him. I know that much. Can I hit him now? I don't even know what to do right now. i got to get out of the way of this. Things are definitely getting more aggressive right now, but still no problem for me. I've only lost one bit of health. He's almost dead, and this fight would be so much more fun if I could just shoot him straight. I think he loses health every time I kill his little friends here, which isn't nearly as entertaining. Especially considering, like, they just die super, super easy. Alright, well, apparently he died finally. And we've unlocked E2. 
it then it sent me home. But that got in reasonably easy at the end, so I clearly did something right. Now I've got a bunch of points to spend on permanent upgrades.